Hello and welcome to another leak code problem. We're going to be doing problem number 1721, swapping nodes and linked list. And so this problem says, given the head of a linked list and an integer k, return the head of a linked list after swapping the values of kth node from the beginning and kth node from the end, the list is one indexed. So we have some list. this okay and so we need to swap these two nodes so what you're actually want to do in this problem it's a lot simpler than you may think the difficulty of the problem would be or it would be more difficult is if you actually have to swap the nodes right so if you have to swap the nodes then there's going to be a lot more stuff because then you'd have to get like what's the previous node what's the next node and then there's a bunch of actually, and this is actually what I first did when I first solved this problem. I solved it in a way where I actually manually swapped the nodes. And then you get a lot of problems. Like you have to get the next and the previous nodes for all of them. And then there are a lot of edge cases for this kind of problem. Like if you have a node like this and k equals two here, then the first node is actually here. And then the second node is here. And so like you, you, you try to like get the next nodes, but then sometimes the next nodes for these nodes might be actually each other. And that's also really annoying. And so the key to reading this problem and to make it a lot easier on itself, honestly, and I can totally see someone in an interview doing the hard approach is we just need to swap the values. So how do we swap the values? And we usually in links, we don't do this, but the way we swap the values is actually when we get the, when we just obtain the two nodes, we can just get them in some variable, right? So let's just call that like the first node is this node, then the second node is this node. Now all we actually have to do is just take these two nodes, swap the values, and then we're done. And then we just return the head. So we don't actually need to swap any nodes, which is really convenient. And so our entire algorithm here is actually just gonna be, oh, and we do need we need we do need to figure out where these nodes are. So that's gonna be the only thing we need to do. So they're saying that it's k from the beginning or k from the end. So let's see what that looks like, right? So if this is if this is index one, two, three, four, five, because it's one indexed. So k from the beginning is pretty straightforward, right? We'd have some counter, but what is k from the end? Like for example, this k equals, what is it? Two, two, what is k from the end? Well, the, the length is five. So k from the end is actually this one here. So we need four. So it's actually gonna be the length of the list minus k plus one so that's going to be the index we want for the for the end and then the star is just going to be the you know starting at one so that's pretty straightforward now what we need to do is we need to figure out how do we actually get these and so the way to do these is if you need an index in a linked list i don't think there's any other way to do this but we have to traverse through the entire linked list so we're just going to have some pointer we're going to traverse through the entire linked list to get the length and then we're going to traverse one more time and then we're going to we're going to be able to know what index we're at we're going to start we're going to say like Okay, we're gonna start index one. We know how long it is, and now we know the exact nodes we need because we do need to know how long the list is to figure out where the second node is. There's no other way around that, I'm pretty sure. Because like, how do you know what node you need from the end of a list if you don't know where it ends? So our algorithm is actually gonna to be to go through the list, get the length, and then traverse, get the two nodes, and actually swap the values, and then we can just return the head. So let's code that up. So what are the things we're gonna need? Well. We don't actually need a dummy node for this, and I didn't make it originally because, uh, like I said, I made the problem way more complicated. And there's a lot of edge cases here. Like a, a, one of the edge cases is like, you can have the same node being k from the start and k from the end. For example, like, I think something like this, if you have this middle one, and it would be like k equals three, it would be the same node twice. And you can also have the first and the end, and then the last node are next to each other. Basically, it's just like, if you want a harder version of this problem, try to solve this by actually swapping the nodes and not just swapping the values. It's definitely a lot more tricky. And if you could figure out all the edge cases, there are a lot for sure. Okay, so let's do the values here. So we are going to have a cur equals, let's just call it start at the head. Now we are going to have a length of a list. We'll make that zero. So we can, this is how you would check the length for list. So you do while well, cur, you just say length list plus equals one cur equals cur dot next. And so that makes sense if you think about it, like it'll start here and then it'll say like, okay, get one here, two, three, four, five. So now we have the length. Now what we need to do is, this is now we need a second pass through the list. 
And for the second pass, we're actually going to get the two nodes. So we're going to initialize them to be none at first. So we'll just say first class is the two nodes we need. So we're going to say none, none. Now we need to set the curve to the head again. Now we need to have a while cur again. And then we just simply need to have if conditions for the loop, right? So, so we want to have cur equals head and we'll just make the index here equals one because we need to know like what index we need our nodes. So the first node is going to be at index K. So that's pretty straightforward. So if index equals K, then that's the first node, the current node we're at. So that's going to be first equals cur. Now, what's the second condition? If index equals, let's see what, what is that? Okay, so if index equals, uh, what do we need here? Well, we are gonna need, let's see here. Remember that it is from our picture, it is length minus k plus one. And so equals length list minus k plus one. And in this case, like I said, it would be four. Yeah, so that means we are at the second node. So second equals cur. Okay. And so now that we have those, now we need to also uh, update the current pointer. Next. We also, okay, we did do that. And we also need to update our index. So, index plus equals one. so now that we actually have the two nodes, we now we, all we need to do is swap the values in Python. That's a one liner. So we can just do this. Well, in other languages, you just need to use a temp variable. Now we just return the head. And so yeah, definitely this is this is a good um, problem to learn to like read read the problem statement carefully and not screw up because that's what I did originally, and that saves you like twenty minutes or whatever how long it takes you to uh, yeah find all the edge cases and stuff. So let's see here. Okay. Nice. Okay, so let's talk about the time and space complexity for this one. Yeah, it's definitely, it's a medium problem, but it's more like an easier medium problem. Once you recognize we're not actually swapping nodes, we're just swapping values. Okay, so time, it's gonna be O of N. So we technically did a two pass here. We went through once to get the length and we went through one more time to get the nodes. I don't think there's a faster way. Maybe there is, someone can correct me if I'm wrong for sure. But I don't think it's possible to know where the second node is. You can get the first node in one pass, but the second one, I don't think so. Okay, and then space is O of one because we didn't make anything, like we didn't make any extra nodes. All we did was swap the swap the values. Okay, so that's gonna be all for this problem. Hopefully you liked it. And if you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps grow it a lot. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.